Well, hello everyone. That is a big, big turnout. So thank you so much for joining this demo day for Batch 588. We're so, so, so excited to have that many people. Thank you so much again. Let's give a big round of applause. You can clap even if you can hear you. That's participation. <laughs> thank you for that. So uh, for people who don't know me, I'm Manon. I'm the marketing and events officer of the team. And I'm going to be your co-master of ceremony for today. I'm going to be presenting with Julian, uh, who's the program manager. He's waving on one of the many screens <laughs> of people that we have. Um, so yeah, today we're here to really celebrate the six months of hard work from Batch uh, 588. Um, they really had to go through so many things, working together offline, online, just so much happening. And they had to really push their teamwork, um, you know, to still manage to do all of this without necessarily sitting in the same room. And so first of all, before anything else, we really want to praise you for uh, your teamwork skills and just um, doing all of that so seamlessly. So thank you. Thank you so much for that especially during project weeks, because it's really all about working together. So thank you for that. So the bats just went through some very intense weeks of coding uh, all their apps from scratch while working in teams. And this is always a really exciting time for everyone because suddenly they realize just how much they've learned and how much they can do in a very short period of time. Um, and let me tell you, the entire teaching team is very impressed with what um, everyone has created and what they've done. So uh, if you haven't seen any of these projects yet, you're in for an incredible time. Uh, and with that, and before we get started, feel free to jump off of mute and let's give them a big round of applause for working so diligently and adapting to everything that we're throwing at them. Uh, perfect. So now that everyone is very, I'm sure, curious and excited, uh, we'll just just jump right into it. So we'll get started with Mood Food. So Mood Food is Edmund, Nick, Justin, and presented by Shimas. And the stage is yours. Okay. Cool. So how many of you spend far too much time looking for good restaurants? I know I certainly do, but I'm sure many of you do as well. So my partner and I like to try out new restaurants around Melbourne uh, every two weeks. And last Thursday, it was my turn to find somewhere new. We hadn't had good Vietnamese in a while, so I decided to look for uh, a place in Footscray. And I started with Google. But to be honest, it's overwhelming. Am I really finding the best Vietnamese restaurant in Footscray for my mood, my occasion, date night? I cross-referenced my choices on Zomato and Yelp, but eventually give up. We're going to somewhere we've already been. It shouldn't be so hard to find good restaurants um, and good restaurant recommendations. There are too many review sites. Reviews aren't based on your unique needs. And ultimately, it takes, takes each and every one of us far too long. That's why we created Mood Food, personalized restaurant recommendations without the BS. So Mood Food aggregates um, restaurant reviews from across Google's Zomato and Yelp. Essentially, it's a one-stop shop for restaurant recommendations. But the real differentiator um, is that we personalize the restaurant recommendations and restaurant reviews based on your mood or your occasion. So let's say we are looking for something in Footscray. Uh, we're looking for a Vietnamese because we, uh, my partner and I haven't had it in a while. And there are quite a few moods here, but because we're looking for something for date night, we're probably looking for something that is romantic. So right off the bat, um, it feels familiar to other platforms, but it also feels quite different. Um, certainly a lot more welcoming. Um, so it also appears as though the list of sort of recommend, recommended restaurants is a lot more curated than you might find on Google or Zomato. So what I actually like to do is I am kind of a visual learner. So what I'll do is I'll just make sure everything's around Footscray Station. I'll click on these neat wee logos, the Mood Food logo it looks like. Um, and yeah, so here's Footscray Station. Everything appears to be where near close to the station. So these recommendations so far seem quite good. But I'm kind of curious about this sort of percentage here. What does it actually mean? 
Um, and it appears as though it's sort of a, a personalized match, which is interesting. So if we look at this restaurant here, Sapa Hills, based on what I've searched for, looks like the best match, or at least this is what mood food is telling me is the best match for my mood date night. And here we go. It's perfect for date night. So feeling quite confident in terms of um, this being sort of a solid pick um, for a restaurant. So what, what I'll actually do, I always bookmark things because I lose things. I'm sure many of you do too. Um, and we'll just check this out, um, check the bookmarks page, which is again, a lot more welcoming um, and sort of, to be honest, makes seemingly makes the process quite a lot of fun. Um, I, personally, I find review when you're looking for restaurants it can be quite tedious and stressful. So your number of sort of, I guess, looks like review mentioned. So my understanding is that out of all the reviews for this restaurant, five people have mentioned date, three people have mentioned social, sort of as a, as a social setting. So again, the confidence has gone up. I'm getting excited. Supper Hills could be on the cards. But what really matters to me is the reviews, right? And so Supper Hills feels quite welcoming. But what are people actually saying to it? Saying about it. So not only does it seem that Mood Foods personalized the restaurant recommendations, but it has actually sort of aggregated reviews and then personalized those reviews as well for what I'm looking for, for my mood date night. So let's see here. Someone said it's absolutely delicious on Google. Quite recently, in fact, someone said it says it's intimate. Getting excited. And then date night luxury, sort of the cream on the top. All right. So I'm feeling very confident um, that this is probably a really good recommendation for me. So what I'll do is actually, I like to say I'm in charge in the relationship, but it's really in reality, not the case. So what I'll actually do is I will send this to my partner um, and just tell her to check it out um, and make sure she's sort of happy with what mood food is recommended for me. So let's head here. You can sense the excitement, right? So just send that away. And there we go. She can also sort of access these personalized reviews for our situation. So with mood food, I really have the confidence going into date night to try somewhere new and blame poor date night on my substandard dinner etiquette not the restaurant nor the restaurant recommendation. Save time and your peace of mind with mood food. Personalized restaurant recommendations without the BS. So I actually um, wanted to do something for my team uh, with sort of a, I guess, an easygoing group. And I think we all sort of embrace. Uh, kind of having fun while sort of approaching challenging problems. So um, what I actually did was a, a series of caps are on the way. So each hat is personalized to, I guess, the individual, much like mood food. So here, um, this is for Ed. So um, sort of a bit of a backstory. And when it was really into working out, um, back in the day, he needed to sort of bulk up. And so, he went to Nando's every single day for two years. And every single day, he ordered the same whole chicken. <laughs> um, so he, he, he had so much credit there. He said that uh, he had two weeks worth of free food from Nando's until one day he just stopped showing up and he ran into the guy who used to serve him. And he was the guy who was apparently a bit sad. So this is for, um, for Ed to really relive those Nando's days um they'll be on your way soon thanks Seamus yeah no worries absolute pleasure um and this one here is for our man um Nick and Nick is a big fan of Kangabangas um so <laughs> I've just chucked it on the hat um for him I don't know why he likes Kangabangas uh, Kangabangas but he's also a big fan of the dogs I don't know what footy team they are um but this is headed your way and last but not least, Jonas. is this is for Justin, really on behalf of the group, but he seems to be the biggest grilled, I think, advocate. And I think grilled is 
substandard. Um, so what I really want um, Justin to do, he's going back to the US um, next week to go back to uni. And I want him to bring Australian burgers to America. So that's kind of my, um, that's why this is for, for, for Justin. But yeah, overall, really, really enjoyable process. I think we sort of worked really well. I think most importantly, we had a laugh and that's sort of why we got a lot out of this process. But also I'm super excited to sort of continue working on this. I know we've talked about it quite a bit. So yeah, thanks team. Um, really appreciate it. I love you, Seamus. <laughs> wow. Absolutely incredible. Well done, uh, Team Mufu. That was uh, a, a very, very nice and humble way to, to round it out as well. Congratulations on finishing. Um, and thank you for leaving me very hungry as well. I now want dinner immediately. So thanks for that. Uh, again, yeah, congratulations, Team Mufood. Uh, I would love to uh, now have you join me in welcoming Team Ties, which is Hannah, Leeton, Talina, and presented by Kevin. Thank you, thank you. I'll just uh, get set up. Give me one quick second. All right, let's jump into it, shall we? Okay. So, look, guys, I'm a, I'm a bit of an introvert. And meeting new friends can be very intimidating, very draining, and a little bit tricky for me. And it's a shame because life-changing experiences come from weak social ties, right? People who you might have met through a friend or a work colleague, people you might not know very well. And I'm sure you've had this experience before where you've met someone new and you've either learned something really amazing or you've kind of opened your mind up to new perspectives or you've just landed a sweet gig or a sweet opportunity. And this has actually happened to me. You know, I actually discovered Le Wagon and I chose Le Wagon through a weak social tie. And now I'm in front of you um, with this new awesome community, a new set of friends and not new set of friends, but new <laughs> group of friends and a new set of life changing skills. And it's crazy, right? I have so many friends in tech. Um, in fact, one of my closest friends is a senior developer and we've never had the conversation to go to a boot camp. So it really just goes to show that uh, weak ties really does allow you to see things from a whole new perspective. So I guess, how do you um, create and foster these uh, new weak ties? Well, through, uh, through, through our app, Ties. So Ties is a referral-based social media app that allows you to connect uh, and, and engage with people who your trusted friends think that you should be tied with. Ties has been brought to you by this amazing team. We've got Talina, Leeton, Hannah, and myself, and yeah, echoing you know what Seamus has said it's it's been amazing working with this team and uh, I feel like we really really kind of got into our flow and uh, really started to smash things out so amazing um, amazing team so without further ado I'm gonna show and jump into uh, the app so what I'll do is just make sure that that's in full screen and hopefully everyone can see that. Great. All right. So you start off in the Discover Ties or the Ties home feed. And this is the feed where you start to see and discover people who want to connect with you through your friends, uh, people who have been recommended to you, um, and people that, um, yeah, your friends have just simply re uh, recommended to you. So the first person here is Amy. And uh, look, Amy's requested to be uh, your tie through Mark. So I actually do remember having this conversation with Mark and he was telling me about Amy and how, how she was into fashion. And look, I consider myself a bit of a fashionista. So I think this might be a good one to, for us to connect. So I might just hit that accept and maybe we'll catch up a, a little later. So the next person's Phil, and Phil's requested to be my tie through Barry. And look, again, I do remember having this conversation with Barry. Um, Barry uh, said that Phil was actually into crypto and, and, and fashion also. So those are some of the things that I'm actually quite into too. And look, I'm, I'm really digging his blazer. So I actually think we might get some, uh, some tips just to later on when we go do our next, our next demo day, what kind of blazers we might wear. Now that we've kind of gone through, you know, our referrals, we're actually looking at people who are looking for, um, you know, new friends or new ties. And um, as I just kind of scroll through and um, I kind of come across Hannah. So Hannah's, uh, you know, one of uh, my dear friends. And I want to kind of see what Hannah's been up to. So 
looks like she's been uh, investing in crypto for a bit of a uh, for a while now and uh, it's awesome I didn't know that uh, that was what she was doing so I actually might just quickly flick through some of her images okay so she's definitely into okay so it looks like she might have bought a yacht okay wow I think she's might have become a crypto billionaire since we last spoke that's really awesome wow nice one Anna good on you all right well as I kind of scroll through um I come across Talina and I want to see what Talina has been up to yep she works in science and here yeah, I do remember her talking about how science can get a little bit boring but kind of looks like her status is saying that she's looking to invest in crypto <laughs> I actually know someone. So I might just go into my ties list, uh, if, uh, all the people that I'm tied with, and I'll just refer to Lena. And I'll, I might just quickly do a quick search of my ties list and see if there's anyone I think might be a good um, tie for her. So, yeah, I think I'm going to choose Hannah. You know, she's a billionaire. I think uh, Talina will really appreciate being connected with a billionaire. So I've sent that off, and hopefully she appreciates that. Um, it's a really good. Uh, connection I think so I'm just going to quickly flick over to my chat now and um, I've got a, a couple of unread messages from Mary and we've just been having a, having a bit of a conversation you know just around lockdown and how, how how it's been and Mary's just let me know that she's been doing a bit of uh, baking um, so that's that's really cool um, actually I want to um, message her back and just let her know that I've also been dabbling in, in, in some cooking and I want to see if she's uh, able to if she knows anyone that can teach me some um, cool uh, cooking tricks essentially so let's just uh see how if she if she can do that so yes looks like um she's recommended that i should catch up with leeton um he can give me some great tips that's that actually reminds me i should probably update my profile because i haven't actually you know added any photos or i haven't updated my interests so i might just quickly do that um just really quickly so just quickly update my interests i am into cooking i am into programming and i'll uh, just hit that save and you know with, with its hubs profiles, you really do have to upload a, a, an action shot, you know, a, a photo of you doing what you love. So I might just pick this uh, this photo of me, you know, with one of my favorite cooking utensils. Uh, so I might just quickly just check if that's gone through. And um, yeah, yeah, that's that's it. That's the money shot right there. Me and my my, my wok um, and uh, the cooking's bit the cooking's come through. So I'm just going to quickly flick through into my home feed and. Look, Leeton's actually come through. So Mary suggests that I should um, tie with Leeton. So I might actually just quickly check out what Leeton's all about. You know, I'm not too sure. So hi, I'm Leeton. I want to be amateur cyclist, pastry chef, and a coder. Okay, it's a jack of, all, jack of all trades. And okay, that looks pretty legit. And that looks pretty legit. I think I can work with this. And uh, oh, yeah, and he's definitely a cyclist. So that, uh, that definitely checks out. So what I might do is uh, I might just hit request and just make and just connect with him so um that's good so oh got a message from talina hey kev thank you for referring hannah to me she must be yeah she is definitely a billionaire you are so welcome delina um you know hope one day you share those riches with me um and looks like i've got a, a message from leiden the pastry chef so He's just said, hey, Kevin, I heard from Mary, you need some cooking tips, and I'm happy to share some new ideas. I also need a website built for my new restaurant. Are you able to help with that? What? I am so surprised. You know, I thought I was going to meet someone for cooking tips, but, you know, it looks like I've got a, a new opportunity that blends cooking and my, develop, my love for developing. So, you know, you never know when um, you, when an opportunity might be around the corner when you uh, talk and make and foster and create weak social ties. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Team Ties. Uh, it was so heartwarming because every time we were checking on them and jumping on Zoom, they were always in the same room working together on one screen and like debugging the four of them like their flow was so insane it was just like Kevin saying okay what am I doing Anna googling one thing and it was just really amazing to see that and seriously if I had a company I would just hire the four of you right away and get it up and running uh, so thank you so much for for that uh, it was really so impressive Perfect, so now we're gonna have the third team of the evening. Uh, it's Vamos, and so Vamos is Armand and his teammate and the speaker for today, Alex. Woo! Hey everyone, 
want to share my screen. Awesome. We're in the middle. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Alex. Um, I'm pretty new in Melbourne. So I'm from South America. But I grabbed in the ranges one time, so I never had the chance to surf. So when I got to Melbourne, first time I said, okay, I'm in Australia, the surfing land. The first thing I'm gonna do how to uh, practice a sport, it's gonna be surfing. So I drove from Melbourne to Gresham Road like two hours. I got up there, I didn't know anything about surf. I realized it was a bad idea. The weather was really bad, it was pouring rain. So I realized I shouldn't have been so impulsive. I should have checked uh, the weather up before, before getting there. I ended up that day in a local bar, just having a couple of beers with my friends. I spent all night there because it was raining so much. Can you believe that? So I heard about this cool app. My friend from Sydney, our man, he told me about it. I've been, I've been using it ever since. And yeah, I quite like it. I wanna guide you guys through the whole app. Uh, first, you have you can continue as a guest, but since I'm, out, I'm an outdoorsy type of person, I'm been using it pretty often. So I'm gonna head back to home. I'm gonna log in because I already signed up for it. All right, just a quick sign up, couple steps. Login. Sweet, I'm in. All right, first things first, I'm gonna make a new search. I'm a dreamer, so I hope that the next Friday is gonna, we're not gonna be in lockdown. And I like to go back there to the Gration Road to go for a surf. So make a search. Where I want to go, just, an, just three easy steps, location, type of activity, and the time that you want to go. All right, let's say learn this time, Victoria, Australia. It's surfing, since it's surfing will be a water activity. It's pretty simple and straightforward, as you guys, as you guys can see. All right, since I've been surfing for a while now, I already know what type of parameters do I need for, to perform the activity in a better way, in a safe way as well, since I don't have uh, health insurance. That's a really bad idea. I should get one. <laughs> All right, so first, wind speed, wind direction as well, pretty important. Wide height, not too big, not too small. Uh, wave direction as well, um, wave duration. Water temperature, yeah, but I got my wetsuit, that should, that should be all right. When? Next Friday, since they say we, lockdown is gonna be over on Thursday. Let's check next Thursday, really early in the morning. Let's go for it. Cool, as you guys can see, I got my own dashboard with my weather search saved. And I got this cool map. I don't have a car right now, so I need to check how far Lorne is from here. Maybe I need a ride. So I live in Elwood. Victoria, let's check Lorne. How far is from here, Lorne, to Australia? Cycling, 10 hours. I'm not gonna make it 10 hours. <laughs> I'm a good rider, but not that good. I'm not lead in. All right, let's say driving two hours. That seems about right, but I don't have a car, as I told you guys. So I'm gonna write a comment here to see if anyone's got a car and is going at that date down to learn. All right, let's put um, anyone, anyone going down to learn the next Friday for a surf session. But the most important to share the right. Cool. Awesome. You can see the comment in your dashboard, but also you can go to community where you share your activities with more people, with more users. So as you can see, I'm the first one to post something here. Hopefully somebody replied. As you guys can see this app, 
can be handy, like especially for the ones living in Melbourne where weather conditions change every minute. Today it was sunny in the morning, now it's cloudy, probably late it's gonna be raining. You never know in the city. The forecast is up to you. You choose. Vamos. <laughs> Wow, incredible job, Team Vamos. Uh, there's nothing I would love to do more right now than to uh, plan outdoor activity outside my 5K. So thank you, thank you for reminding me how much I miss going surfing right now. That's much appreciated. Uh, it was such a journey for these two and they have accomplished absolutely so much between the two of them. Um, so yeah, well done, Team Vamos. That's absolutely a uh, beautiful looking app and yeah, just all around massive kudos. Finally, uh, for our final presentation for tonight, we have Team Worth It uh, with Tom, Kim, Jay, and presented by Victoria. Give it up for Team Worth It. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm really excited to have you all today to demo our app, Worth It. Uh, Worth It is an app that shows you the impact of your financial decisions before you make them, which is unlike anything else that's in the market right now. Now, what we're going to do today Vic, is... Vic, Vic, sorry, sorry. I'm just quickly going to interrupt you. Um, I've, got to, I've got something to talk to you about. Can't wait. Can it wait? No. Nah. <laughs> All right, Kim, what's the problem? So, so my boyfriend, Tom, um, he's been hiding something from me. And I know, I know what's going on. He's, he's, he's back online shopping again. Oh, we're going around in circles with Tom. All right. Um, it's okay. Um, but I, I think it's time for an intervention. So I'm going to loop him in because he needs some help. Uh, Tom, are you there? I'm here, Vic. I'm here. It's great to be here. So Tom, Kim tells me you're having some financial problems. Yeah, look, I just like to live in the now. You know, I like to uh, treat myself today and worry about tomorrow, tomorrow, but that doesn't really work well when you're in such a loving and fruitful relationship. It's putting such a strain on our relationship, Tom. It really is. Yeah, yeah it looks like financial advice is what you guys need. Um, yeah. Nevertheless, uh, so Tom, we're going to try and help you out with your problem here. And we're going to start with something that we know you already know and love. So I'm going to get you to pull up your up account for me, please. Will do. Doing some shopping, I see, Tom. Just a little bit. Uh, these are my saver accounts. What do you want me to do? All right. So I think we need we need to set a goal uh, together to get us started. So okay. can you do me a favor and let's make a new goal? What's something you're you're keen on doing? Oh, I've been really eyeing off the data science course by the wagon. Actually, I would love to do it. Is this a paid That's promotion? <laughs> No, it's not, but I know I'll make lots of cash if I do it. And it's very cheap as well, I hear. Good call, good call. Sweet. All right, awesome. Now, because we're really excited, go ahead and put some money in that account too. All right, all right, I'm feeling good today. I might drop 300 Benjamins in it straight away. Awesome, all right. Next, we're going to get you going to this app called Worth It for me. Will do. Well, hold up. Oh, Tom, what are you buying? One get second. it together. One second. All right, here I am. All oh, right. Really you... Cool. All right. Can you go ahead and click on Add Saver for me? Will do. All right. What do we got here? All right. And I want you to select the goal that you just created from that drop down there. Wait. I've got a heap of goals in here. Oh, it's already in there. No way. <laughs> it is. So the beauty of this app is that it's linked to your up account. So everything that you do there is going to be reflected in here. Oh, mad. So even if I do any random random purchases, it'll it'll show up? It will. Oh, so there's crazy. no escaping. Yeah, like that Tinder gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so no, that's, Tom, that's what research. batch do you want to join? Uh, I think I need a year off, but I can't wait to get back. So I might do August 22. Perfect. All right. And uh, tell us why you want to do this course exactly. 
I want to get Kim off my back. Sounds like a valid and reason. So I can be better with money. Perfect. All right. Go ahead All and right. save that for us. Oh, sweet. All right. So as you can see, that's updated with your current balance. And what it's done in that yellow box there is it's calculated what your weekly contribution needs to be. Nice. To meet that goal. Nice. So got to put away $148 if you want to join the August batch. All Ooh, right. It's easy. Cool. But that's only half the battle. We really need to rein in this impulse spending of yours. So I'm going to get you to click on worth it for me. All right, cool. Thank you. Okay. So as we, we saw from your search history, you've clearly got your eyes on a few things. What's, what's something that you're looking to do now? Well, there's lots of things I want to buy, but I don't know about you. I've been coding for the last six months and I used to have killer calves. They used to be the real money makers, but I've let them go. So I'm thinking I might treat myself with some calf implants. Sounds they're like a necessity. Yeah, they're pretty cheap at the moment too. Three nine nine if I get two of them. Awesome. Now, what this is going to show us once we click, is it worth it? Is it's going to show you the impact of this decision should you buy the calf implants. So go ahead and click on, is it worth it for me? Oh no. So Tom. Oh, no. If we buy these calf implants, that's 189 days extra. You're going to have to wait to do data science. <sighs> Plus, oh. you can buy 160 large pizzas for that amount. Jeez, how much? Oh, that's a lot of pizza. <laughs> it is. So when you see it like that, Tom, are we, are we thinking this is the most responsible choice? No, Kim's going to kill me. All right. That's all right. okay. But Kim might not not kill you for the next one. So I feel like if I use this thing all the time though, it's just going to tell me that I can't buy anything. Well, actually there's a more cost-effective way that we could go about achieving this goal. So let's test that one out. So click on ask me again. Yeah. All right. So how else could we get mad calf? Uh, I've got this mate Jay who's got killer calves and he just does kettlebell raises every morning and every night. Um, so I think I might get a kettlebell. Awesome. Or I think $40 off Facebook marketplace. All right. Let's see. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. So something like a kettlebell is not really going to derail your goals. It's going to only set you back by less than a week. And that's only a couple more days. We have to hear you whinging that Kim's on your back. Nice. Six loaves of Baker's delight bread. Hmm. Bueno. <laughs> Oh, uh, cool. Thanks a lot for this. I think like, it's really nice to see the impact of my purchases before I'm going to do it to see what it's really costing. But I think the biggest part is the just changing my behavior and thinking before I make a purchase, um, which I don't know about you, but I do never think before I make a purchase. We so never now, would have guessed. I know, right? Great, Tom. Um, well, Next time you're thinking about buying something, we want to plug it in here so you can see what's truly worth it. <laughs> oh, amazing. Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Team Worth It. Uh, I'm going to say it again, but seriously, that bank API, it was just so tricky to figure it out. I remember the teachers talking about it at first and being like, how are they going to do this? And you seriously smashed it. So congratulations. Amazing, amazing, amazing job. Um, and also you made it fun, which is really the, the goal of Flowagon as well. So uh, you can really, really be proud of you. So that's it. That's uh, actually everyone. Um, so congratulations again, Batch 588. Congratulations. You can unmute yourself and give yourself a big round of applause. Well done, guys. All right, well, here we are. Manon, Paul, and myself would love to thank our teaching team who have been absolutely phenomenal in their efforts. So thank you to Ben, Cam, Cass, Christine, Mathieu, Ray, Tiffany, Antonio, Glenn, Ian, Yurek, Robert, and Thomas. Let's give a big round of applause. Take yourselves off mute for all of our teachers. And for our students, some words of encouragement moving into the future. Our culture has become 
very hooked on the quick fix way to do things. Everyone is on the hunt for that really simple habit that nets maximum profit with the absolute least amount of effort. And there's no denying that this attitude might get you some taste of success if you're lucky, but it definitely is not going to lead to mastering any one thing. You have for sure over the past six months trained your minds to really pursue something incredibly difficult, all in the pursuit of excellence. So congratulations and well done to everyone that has uh, come absolutely so far in that time. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy to think that just like that, 24 weeks have passed. And uh, yeah, it's a very bittersweet feeling because we feel very lucky that we've seen everyone growing and just pushing the limits and going out of their comfort zone. So we're very grateful uh, for all of that. But also, we're just going to miss you. It's going to be so weird being out of lockdown and uh, not having everyone um, back at Inspire9. But we're going to be very excited because this is really not the end. We keep saying that, but it's true. You're still going to have this community with you. You're still going to have the wagon. And uh, you have so much lined up for this new tech life. So just see this as a first chapter and we're always going to be there. And I hope that you're always going to be there for one another as well. Um, and we cannot wait to celebrate together in real life when we can, figure crossed. And so if this got you curious, uh, for people that are joining us and thinking about joining the wagon, uh, Julian and I are going to take you through um, the basis. Cool, cool. So... This could be the next move for you as well. This is a little bit of an introduction to our web dev course. The Wagon is now 12,000 plus alumni and graduates worldwide with 45 cities around the world and over 2,000 web apps built, uh, including those ones that have been built today. So absolutely incredible efforts worldwide, as well as the most acclaimed bootcamp on SwitchUp and Course Report, which is incredible as well. Here's a little bit of a glimpse of an overview of where we are in the world and we're constantly expanding uh, and just really excited to be a part of just the beautiful global alumni community. In terms of the structure of our web development course, everything that our students went through over the past six months, and for those who are interested in maybe joining a part-time, give you a bit of an overview, sorry, or full-time, we'll give you a bit of an overview. So phase zero, this is all about the prep work, all about the the pre-foundations before actually getting into the bulk majority of the concepts. So this is where you're really getting up to speed for the bootcamp, um, doing some learning tracks, uh, which then ties into phase one, which is a big chunk of time that you're spending really learning the foundations. So understanding really key concepts in programming, software architecture and databases, which then segues very nicely into phase two, which is all about UI design, front end dev, uh, and we um, dabble with some Ruby on Rails, which is what our applications were built with that you saw today, which is fantastic. Phase three, finally, is all about just coming up with that amazing idea, pitching it and working in teams to really uh, deploy that and see these beautiful projects that you've seen uh, today. In terms of our next intakes, we have our next full-time starting in on October 4th. This is our 10-week full-time web development. And then after that, we have our part-time starting uh, early Feb, Valentine's Day. So a great way to kick off Valentine's Day, then jump into a part-time web development bootcamp and let your partners know about that moment as well. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, we have our open evening coming up soon as well. This is um, in a little under 10 days. This is an online open evening session. Come along just to watch, or not just to watch, sorry, just to ask your questions, uh, find out more about things like our career outcomes and find out where some of our alumni have actually ended up going post bootcamp, as well as ask any questions around the structure and the course that we have here at the wagon. And we also have a second program, the data science, uh, which is the one that Tom wanted to do um, to have Kim of his back. If you've been following, uh, you'll see that it's very similar. Basically, we try and have the same core thing, which are really having people working in teams and doing things that they're going to do when they land a job in the industry. So uh, we start with prep work. This one is a bit different because uh, we do have assessment for people to join the data science. So you need to have a base in Python and mathematics. So basically, we'll just get you up to speed with that so you're very comfortable with all the concepts. Then it's jumping uh, the, on the toolkit part, which is really 
taking everything that you know about Python mathematics and SQL and using it in a completely different way. Um, usually <laughs> we see the students going like, <laughs> it's just blowing their mind, which is exactly what we're trying to do here. And then the biggest part of the bootcamp is really diving into data science itself and diving into decision science, machine learning, deep learning, all these things that most humans are just absolutely not doing, which is super exciting. Uh, and that's why we really love seeing their project and their growth because it is incredible what they're able to achieve and learn in such a short time. And then just like you've seen today, uh, the data science are presenting projects. They're working on data sets of actual companies. So really working as a data science team to um, come to business conclusion and present them, which is super, super exciting. And for the next intakes, we actually have one uh, part-time starting on August 28th, and it's not too late to join. Uh, you will still have time to do the prep work, but just make sure to contact us very soon so we can get you on board. And for the full-time data that is starting on October 4th, and we have one program at the moment, and we're super keen on seeing what they're gonna come up with. And talking about that, we actually have an open evening this coming Monday. If you have any questions about the outcomes, teachers, content, uh, you can jump in, it's online. And really, even if your question is just like, is this a good move in my career? You're completely welcome. It's not having precise questions. It's also just you know figuring out if it's the right fit for you. And if you want to be even more convinced, you can join us for the demo day for the first data science demo day in Melbourne, which is going to be on August 24th. So in 10 days, uh, we're going to have batch, uh, part time batch 577 presenting and they are such an amazing and impressive group. They're already all getting interviews. I'm pretty sure they're all going to have jobs by the, the end of the course. So we're super excited to see what they're coming up with. Uh, so yeah, this is on our Evan Brighton meetup. I'll send you a link later if you're interested in joining. Um, if you have more questions or if you want to talk just to one person in particular, because, uh, you know, that's always good to have just one person talking and giving you advices, uh, Paul is a person to go to. So you can take a screenshot of this and make sure to give him a call, send him an email. Um, everything that we've been saying with Julian is also on our website. So um, please go for it and just uh, check out all the content there is. You can download the syllabus as well if you want to know more about the content uh, day to day. Um, so yeah, do not hesitate to reach out. And uh, I'll send a link in the chat in a second. So you have all this information. And if you have any questions, we're also really happy to answer them. Um, staying in the room with Julian and Paul for a minute. But in the meantime, thank you so, so much uh, for this big, big turnout. It's, it's really uh, incredible for us. Thank you for cheering on the students as well. Uh, we've been working so hard. And that's it. This is the final clap for Batch 588. Hey, well, guys.